Big Bear Dave. Hey, little guy. Are you in laser tag? Hmm. Hey, Chica, are you making Gregory pizza? Hey, little superstar, are you in the arcade? Oh, where could he be? I must have lost him. Oh, there you are, my little superstar. <laughs> little Bean, what's wrong? Why are you crying? I, I was running really fast while playing, and I slipped and bumped my head. Oh my, oh my. Come here, little Bean, come here. No more tears, no more tears. There, there, there. Auntie Roxy's got you. Auntie Roxy's got you. See? All those tears are gone. All the tears are gone. Now, how about we go and get you some ice cream? And it'll make you smile like it always does. Like it always does, huh? Oh. Come to think about it, we've actually done this a lot of times. In fact, if I would actually count, it might be 50. By the way, everyone, happy 50th episode of Small Bean Gregory. From me, the little bean, and all the rest of the animatronics. Shh, sorry guys, the little bean's finally taking a little nap. But don't go anywhere, because we got all your questions being asked by us, the animatronics, in Ask the Animatronics. Don't go anywhere, guys. You too, my little bean. You don't go anywhere either, my little superstar. What's Chico's favorite pizza? Who does Roxy have a crush on? Will Monty ever, ever get a girlfriend? All these questions and many, many more today answered on Ask the Animatronics. The first question is from MMZ2 and is for Bowling Bonnie. Question for Bowling Bonnie. So, how does it feel to see your girlfriend Chica dating Montgomery Gator, huh? Jealous? You must be burning inside, right? Why do people think I had a thing for Chica? Yeah, she's my friend, but I really didn't have a thing for her. To be honest, guys, I really don't have a thing for any female whatsoever. I just enjoy being by myself, and I think that's why girls are attracted to me. Because if I can have a good time and be fun by myself, then obviously they can have a good time if they're hanging out with me. Which is a thing that I think a lot of guys right now don't understand. Be fun, be outgoing, and you'll get the attention that you want. It's a lot better than whining that you're alone all the time. The next question is from Yee Blue, and it's for me. Yee says, question for Freddy. Do you know you are basically the Mandalorian of the FNAF-verse? At least for me. What do you mean, Yuya? What do you mean, Yuya? The Mandalorian is this warrior who has these group of people that, yes, they're his family, but all in all re reject him. And the only thing that gives him meaning is when he meets a cute little bean and he has to go on a bunch of adventures to try to get him back to his people, when all in all he realizes that he was his people all along. I don't see the connection whatsoever, Yuya. The next question is from J. Chen, and is for Monty. Question for Monty. Do you like the new Sonic movie too, or the new Batman movie? Well, Jay, let me say, there's a lot of things I like about the Batman movie, and there's a lot of things I don't like about the Batman movie. Same thing for Sonic. There's a lot of things I loved about the Sonic movie, and there's a lot of things I didn't like about the Sonic movie. Starting with the Batman. I want to say this hands down. I did not like the movie The Dark Knight Rises. It was so out of place in that trilogy. I felt a much better fitting ending would have been a homicidal Riddler going around leaving all these cryptic messages for the Batman while going on said homicidal rampage. And he would always be one step ahead of him and it would get so bad that Batman actually had to go to the Joker and kind of had to have this Hannibal Lecter relationship with the Joker trying to catch the Riddler. 
I mean, just think how awesome the Batman would have been. Instead of Robert Patterson, we had Christian Bale and Heath Ledger's Joker. It would have been amazing. That's my first biggest gripe about this movie. I don't feel this movie should have been a new beginning for Batman. I think this movie should have been the actual ending for the Dark Knight trilogy. Also, the whole message about talking about these families having privilege and all this horrible stuff and how Batman should have felt all this guilt because of the sins of his father's past is a total horrible message. Nobody, and I mean nobody, should be made to feel guilty about the sins of their past relatives, no matter if it was their grandmother, their father, or their great-great-great-great-great-grandfather. You need to get past things. We cannot move forward if we keep looking back. Now, as for Sonic, <laughs> that movie was amazing. I love the whole dynamic, how Tails was kind of basically stalking Sonic this entire time, but ended up being his best friend. Now, I will say this. I did enjoy Knuckles in this movie, but was that really Knuckles? Here, let me describe a character to you. A lone warrior who is the last surviving member of their warrior race, completely dedicated their whole entire life for a quest of revenge. So much so that they don't have a sense of humor whatsoever. And if you try to tell them a joke, they take the question way too seriously as if you're trying to tell them a fact instead of a joke, making the joke all that more funny. Who am I talking about? If you said Knuckles the Echidna, you're wrong. I was talking about Drax the Destroyer from Guardians of the Galaxy. It felt like Ibris Elba was trying to be Drax, but acting as Knuckles at the same time. Not saying it was bad, I really enjoyed it, but it just felt that he wasn't Knuckles. The final question is from Captain Rex of the 501st, and it's for Roxy. Rex says, question for Roxy. Since you're a fan of the Clone Wars, what's your favorite clone character or clone commander in the show? Basically, my favorite clone, besides Rex and Fives, is Cody and Wolfie. Oh, by the way, you're the best, Roxy. Well, Captain Rex, you'll be happy to know you. Yes, you, Captain Rex, are my favorite clone. First, your leadership value is so great, and you have a better understanding of life, that no matter be clone or Jedi, we are all equal, and we are all have the same value. Secondly, you were the first one to really show the compassionate and human side of Anakin Skywalker, and no, I don't count being all simp for Padme being compassionate or human. I mean showing real human emotions of concern and worthiness. And of course, the way how you helped to develop the my favorite character, Soka. Giving her her first true lesson on the battlefield. That yes, she might outrank him by being a Jedi, but true rank comes from experience on the battlefield. That's all we have time for today, Bear Cubs. Thank you to all of you for sending in your questions. Now, if we didn't get your question today, don't worry. Just type it again, and we promise we'll get to it as soon as possible. And if you got new questions, don't be afraid to put them right down as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time, guys.